This is going to be a Gore-Tex sutured IOL combined with a small iridoplasty and a DSEC. And what you can see us doing is creating small pyridomies at 6 and 12 o'clock in this case, measuring 2 millimeters post here to limbus and then 4 millimeters apart. This is a 23 gauge valve trocar. I like to use these trocars to help retrieve the Gore-Tex suture from inside the eye. The more proximal sclerotomy to the surgeon is going to be a trocar, the more distal is going to be just a sclerotomy stab with the, uh, with the blade. Here I'm using two uh, Snyder graspers made by MST, and these two graspers are oriented 90 degrees apart. And we're grabbing the 80 Gore-Tex suture inside the eye and retrieving it through the sclerotomy. Now, I'm sorry I'm a little off the field here, but I'm lacing a uh, Bausch & Lomb AO60 lens, and I'll show that better later in the case, retrieving the second suture, the second half of the suture anyway, through the more distal sclerotomy. Here's lacing the AO60. I'm going to go down through the first haptic and then up through the second. What that's going to do is create a mattress suture. There we are grabbing the second suture in the uh, anterior segment and externalizing it through the sclerotomy. You can now fold the AO60 suit, uh, IOL, I'm just using tires to do that. Through an approximately four millimeter wound, this IOL is gonna go in pretty easily, unfold, and then you can pull on your Gore-Tex suture and the implant will uh, pretty much center itself in the eye. Once the implant is in, I like to take the trocars out, um, but before tying the knots and centering the IOL. Now, what's tricky about the AO60 lens is that it's not big enough to reach sulcus to sulcus. And so you have to balance your suture tension, adjusting one and then adjusting the other to get good centration of the IOL in the visual axis. Once you have your centration, I finish tying my, my knots and then cut the knot end short and bury the knot into the more proximal sclerotomy where the trocar used to be. I've been recently closing that sclerotomy with 80 vicro suture. I used to leave them open, but I had a couple cases of hypotony, and I didn't like that very much. So now I close the proximal sclerotomies. The pyridomies are then closed using 80 vicro suture here. Now, in this case, this patient had a significant amount of iris atrophy in the temporal iris, and to help hide that edge of the optic, we're going to just do a small pinch iridoplasty to help round out her pupil and give her a slightly a smaller aperture. I'm using the Condon snare to reti retrieve the tenoproline suture. That was a CIF4 or curved needle. And then once we pull these suture ends, we're going to approximate those two pieces of the iris and give her a much more acceptable uh, pupil size. This patient right now is not dilated, so there's, there's no pharmacologic dilation in this case. So here we'll pull on the two ends of the suture and we'll shrink her pupil size down to about four and a half or five millimeters. Once that knot is tied, we'll cut the ends. And now we have a well-centered IOL and a smaller pupil. This is stripping Decimase membrane. Here I'm stripping under uh, balanced salt solution. I typically will use viscoelastic, but here I chose BSS. Endothelial graft goes in smoothly with the help of abuse and glide. And after a suture or two, we'll carefully inflate the eye with air displacing the graft up against the posterior stromal surface. And here we are at the end of the case. Thank you very much for watching.